Hey gang, what's going on? James here and welcome to First Impressions. This is where I give you my thoughts and theories to some trailers that have just dropped. So as you all know by now, Marvel broke the internet on Tuesday with the first trailer for Captain Marvel. Now I'll be honest with you, I know very little about Captain Marvel. I knew that the movie was getting ready to come out, but I didn't really know too much about the character herself. So I had to go look her up. And for those of you who don't know, Captain Marvel is essentially the Superman of the Marvel Universe. Now a lot of people say Captain America is the Superman, but Captain America and Superman have the same ideals. Captain Marvel and Superman essentially have the same powers. So that is pretty much who Captain Marvel is. She is the most powerful superhero in the universe. Now we all know she's going to play a huge part in Avengers 4. But until then, she's got her own solo movie that is getting ready to come out in March of next year. So the trailer starts off almost kind of reminiscent of Superman. At first, it looks like a spaceship landing to Earth, but it turns out that it's really her. Now, the basic plot for this movie is going to be that it's set in the 1990s, and it follows Captain Marvel, played by Brie Larson, as she is recruited by this intergalactic force called Star Force to help them fight in this war between the Kree and the Skrulls. Now the Kree are the beings that we saw in Guardians of the Galaxy and the first Avengers movie. And the Skrull, this will be the first time that we see them on screen, but they are an alien race that have the power to shapeshift. And in one of the comic story arcs, a bunch of the scroll come to Earth and impersonate some of the Avengers. And the rumor is that Avengers 4 is gonna borrow pretty heavily from this Invasion War story arc that brings the scrolls. But now back to Captain Marvel. The trailer begins with her crash landing on Earth into a blockbuster. Again, this takes place in the mid-90s. And from the looks of the trailer, it looks like she's suffering from some sort of amnesia. She's in the Captain Marvel outfit, but she's walking around in public, looking around super confused. So it looks like she's not suffering from amnesia from getting drafted by the Kree, but instead getting sent back to Earth. And during this whole opening sequence, we hear narration by Samuel L. Jackson, who is returning as Nick Fury. Now, Nick Fury, or Samuel L. Jackson, is going to be de-aged in most of this. And since this takes place in the early 90s, this is going to be Nick Fury's first encounter with otherworldly or superhuman people. And as he says in the trailer, he says, I was about to hang all this up until I met you. So it sounds like Nick Fury is going to be on his own journey throughout this whole movie. It sounds like he's kind of getting disenchanted with S.H.I.E.L.D. until all this stuff starts happening. And I think at some point he's going to bring S.H.I.E.L.D. back into it and turn S.H.I.E.L.D into what it was when the Marvel Cinematic Universe first kicked off, i.e. the Avengers and Iron Man 1. So the trailer, in all honesty, it's nothing special. It's just setting up another Marvel movie. So we get glimpses of Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, fighting other beings, flying around through space. There is one point in the trailer where she is on a train and this old lady looks up at her and smiles and she punches her. Now by this point, everybody has looked up enough of Captain Marvel that we can pretty much rest assured that that is a scroll. I don't think a Marvel hero would willingly punch an old lady. I could be wrong. But that's just my take on it. Now in the trailer we see some other things. We see Jude Law as Marvel. That is his name in the movie. Marvel. And he's kind of like the mentor to Captain Marvel. So we see him for the first time. We see the scroll for the first time. Now the scroll 
is a very literal adaptation of what they look like in the comic books. And I don't know how well that really works. Now I understand when you adapt something from one medium to another, you want to be true, but you also want to make it unique to your vision. And to me, the scroll in the comic books weren't all that fierce looking. I understand their powers can be fierce, but the looks themselves aren't very fierce. So I thought in this movie they would kind of alter their looks, not too much, but just a little bit. But they look like they jumped right out of the comic book. Now in the trailer we see glimpses of Carol Danvers' past life. She was an Air Force pilot, and it looks like she had to over overcome a lot throughout her life. And I think those elements are going to play in to how she has to overcome kind of herself to become this hero, which is Captain Marvel. Now, I do know that Juman Hansu and Lee Pace are reprising their roles from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Now, what, and what I think this movie is going to do is it's going to bridge the gap between space which is where Thor and the Guardians are, and Earth of Iron Man and Captain America. And I think Nick Fury is going to bridge the gap between the two. Now one of the things in the trailers that I found really interesting was at one point towards the end, you see Captain Marvel really harnessing her powers. Almost looks like she's about to explode. Now she's facing off against somebody and Ben Mendelsohn is playing the lead villain in this he plays the leader of the scroll oh what a shocker Ben Mendelsohn is playing the bad guy in something that's a stretch we know he's playing the bad guy in this but the person it looks like she is harnessing her powers for looks like Jude Law I could be wrong but this could be a classic case of the mentor turning on the people. Of course, since this does involve the scroll and a race of aliens that can shapeshift, it could be the scroll impersonating Marvel. Of course, we'll never really know because this is just a teaser trailer and we won't get the full trailer until closer to the release date. My first impression, the trailer was kind of lackluster. The trailer looked like a typical Marvel superhero movie. It just looked like the next movie before the next movie before the next Avengers. The trailer looks like the movie is just the next stepping stone. So as more information comes out, um, I'm sure I'll review it and I'm sure we'll all have a better idea of what this movie is really going to be. So there's my first impression on the Captain Marvel teaser. If you saw it, let me know what you think. I will put a link to the trailer in the description below. And as always, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.